This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna be trying out the McCart Pink Poly Gel Kit. Some of you guys may know I tried out their green poly gel kit not too long ago and you guys wanted me to try out the different color kits. So this one is the pink. So let's open this up and see what we get inside. So the first thing I'm loving is just this all pink aesthetic. I think it is so cute. So this is everything that you get in the kit. You get six tubes of poly gel, gel base and top coat, nail surface cleaner that doubles as the slip solution, nail file, a brush and picker tool that has the brush on one side and the spatula on the other, you get a case of dual forms, nail forms, a whole lot of nail crystals, four jars of glitter, and a mini LED nail lamp. So these are the tubes of poly gel. They are 15 grams. This color is clear and it is color 381. This is color 382 and it is a jelly pink color. This color is 383 and it is a light bubblegum pink color. This color is 384 and it is a deeper pink color. This one is 385 and it is a very hot pink color. <laughs> and this one is 386 and it is a jelly hot pink color. So these are the colors side by side. And these are my natural nails. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of prep here, but first I'm gonna trim down my nails because I don't like for them to show through. And then I'm just gonna use the hand file to smooth down the edges. Next, I'm gonna use my cuticle pusher and push back my cuticles and use the opposite end of the cuticle pusher to scrape up any of that dead skin. And then I'm gonna take my flame drill bit and work that around the cuticle area to further get up any of the dead skin on my nail plate. And this just ensures that I won't have any lifting. And then next, I'm gonna go in with the 180 side of the hand file and I'm just gonna lightly file the surface of my nails just to get rid of the shine. So after brushing off the dust, I'm gonna take some 100% acetone and I'm just gonna wipe my nails off just to make sure I get off all the dust and oils. This works as a nail dehydrator. Ryan, and your nails should be dry AF like this. <laughs> All right, so this is the mini nail lamp that this kit comes with, and it is really nice and compact. I like that. It comes with a USB cord. So once you plug it up, the top is like a big button, so you just press that, and the light stays on for 60 seconds. And this is a six watt nail lamp. So it does seem to give off some heat, so I guess it is powerful enough to cure poly gel, but we shall see. So for this set, I am gonna use dual forms. I typically don't like to use these because they're not really a perfect fit for each nail and they have a curve to them, but I'll go ahead and use them just to show you guys how. So when you're picking out your size, you wanna make sure that they fit from side wall to side wall. I picked out the sizes that closely match my nails, but for my middle finger, it was a little bit too big around the cuticle area. So I have to fix that. I'm just going to file the dual form around the cuticle area so it can match mine a little bit better. So that fits way better than what it did. So now I'm gonna go in with the base coat and I'm gonna apply this to my natural nails. And you wanna do a nice thin even layer of this. And if you get any on your cuticle area, make sure to clean that up before you cure. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that in the nail lamp for 60 seconds. Next, I'm gonna take the nail surface cleaner that also acts as the slip solution. And I'm just gonna put some of that into my dampened dish. So I'm gonna start off with that light pink jelly color and just squeeze some out and put it inside of the nail form. 
and I dip my brush into the slip solution and dab it on the paper towel so the brush isn't too wet. And then I'm just going to pat that into the dual form. So it does take a little bit of practice to know how much poly gel you need. Um, you don't wanna make them too thin, nor do you wanna make them too thick. So it kinda just takes practice to know how much poly gel to put inside. And since I did add more, I wanna go ahead and smooth that out so you can't see the lines because this is a jelly poly gel. So once I have everything smoothed out to my liking, I'm gonna go ahead and press that onto my nail. And make sure to wipe off any of the excess poly gel that squeezes out the sides. And clean around the cuticle as well. So then I flip my finger over and I lightly pat down the poly gel underneath the nail because that does get kind of clumpy when you press it onto the nail. So once everything is smooth to my liking, I'll go ahead and cure that in the nail lamp for 60 seconds. Now this doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes you will get a heat spike. And I got a heat spike with this nail. As soon as I feel the burning, I just take it out. I tap my finger on the desk until it stops burning. And then I put it back into the lamp and it doesn't burn anymore. So it depends on your nails, um, but sometimes it does have a heat spike. So once it cures on the top, I flip my nail over and cure the underside for 60 seconds as well. So after fully curing, I'm just going to rock this dual form back and forth. And it pops off like that. So yeah, this is what the nail looks like. It has a mean curve to it that I do not like. <laughs> but nonetheless, this is a quick and easy nail. So we'll make it work. So for the second nail, I'm going to do some marbling and I'm first going to start off with a small amount of the clear poly gel and I'm just going to spread this very thinly inside of the dual form. Then taking some of the glitter, I'm just going to press that into the wet poly gel just a little bit. So once I like the placement of the glitter, I went ahead and flash cured that for about 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna squeeze out three other colors of the poly gel using my dotting tool. I'm just gonna swirl them inside of the dual form, trying to create like a marbly look. Ryan So once I have all the marble the way that I like, I'm gonna squeeze some more of that translucent pink poly gel and place that into the dual form and then just spread the poly gel out. Trying not to drag it too much because I don't want the colors to mix a lot. I want it to look like a marble. So once that is done, I'm go ahead and press it onto my nail. making sure it's not crooked <laughs> and then cleaning the underside so it's not too chunky and also getting any of the poly gel that squeezes out on the sides. Go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds and on the underside for another 60 seconds. So after carrying, I'm just gonna rock this back and forth as before and it comes right off. And this is how the nail is looking. So I repeat that for all of the nails. Well, I did two marble nails and then the rest was just the pink jelly nail. But yeah, you basically load the dual form with poly gel. Um, I try to make it a little thinner around the cuticle area, thicker in the middle and then thinner 
towards the tip. But like I said, it does take some practice because the poly gel, you know, if you haven't worked with it before, it is gonna be a learning curve. And sometimes you have to work a little bit longer to get a dual form off, but it eventually comes off. And I get questions all the time about if you can reuse the dual forms, and yes, you can. All you have to do is clean them out with like an alcohol, or you can even use the nail surface cleaner that comes with a kit. Go ahead and clean off all the residue from the dual forms, and you're good to use them over and over and over again. So as I was stating, some of the dual forms don't fit that well from sidewall to sidewall. As you can see on this nail, I have a gap here. So I am just gonna take a little bit of poly gel and just do some patchwork. That is one of the reasons why I don't like to use dual forms is because they are not a perfect fit for each finger. I just think you get a better structure and shape nail if you do tips or forms, um, but this is a quick and easy way to do it. So I went ahead and did this for any of the nails that needed patchwork. And this is after all of the poly gel is laid and cured. And I'm gonna use the nail surface cleaner and put some on some paper towel and just wipe the nails down. They do have a tacky layer. So I'm just wiping the nails and also making sure to wipe the underside as well because it does leave a tacky layer. And you wanna get that up before you start to do your filing and shaping. So I'm taking a hand file on the 100 grit side and I'm just gonna do my shaping. And poly gel files very easily, so don't get carried away. It doesn't really take that much to file. So this is after doing all the shaping with the hand file. And now I'm gonna go in with my Kiara Sky Large Smooth Top Drill Bit and I'm gonna work this around the cuticle area. So this is another reason why I'm not really a big fan of dual forms is because you really can't get that crisp, tight cuticle area that I like. But this is the best that I can do as far as trying to get it, you know, the neatest that I can get. Um, so this drill bit does work good as, um, you know, trying to get the cuticle area to be as perfect as it can be. The main thing is that the dual forms kind of leave this ledge around the cuticle area and it's kind of hard to get out with a foul. Um, so that's why I like to use the drill bit. So after doing all of the cuticles, I'm gonna go in with this Typhoon medium grit bit and I'm gonna work this on the underside of the thumb. Um, even though I smoothed this out, it's still pretty chunky. I'm just gonna take some of this product down. So after doing all of the e-file work, I'm just gonna use my buffer and buff the surface of the nail. So this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. And of course, I wanna add some of this gorgeous bling. So I am gonna use the combination of the Poochie Snails Bling Gel and Top Coat. And I get questions about the rhinestone tool that I use. It's a crystal katana. I got this from Amazon, but you can use any type of you know, rhinestone picker. So first I go in with the bling gel, apply that to the nail, and then I apply the top coat over it. And while the gel is still wet, I just go ahead and press the crystals into it. And as you can see, I'm strategically placing the crystals where my natural nail shows, so you can't really see that. So I go ahead and flash cure for about 10 seconds so the crystals don't move, and then I move on to the next nail. So after getting all of the crystals on, I'm gonna go in with the McCart top coat. Little. 
and they turned out so good. <laughs> so I go ahead and do my final cure for 60 seconds and then I apply my cuticle oil. So here is the finished look. So yeah, I wasn't sure how I was gonna incorporate all of these different pink colors, but I think the marble nails turned out so cute. And this poly gel was really easy to work with. It was the same quality as the green poly gel kit. Um, so yeah, I do recommend this if you're starting off. Um, the dual forms may be a little difficult for some people to work with if they don't fit your nails properly, but you can always use nail tips or something other than dual forms. <laughs> So if you guys are interested in this kit, I'll leave the links down below. This is available on the McCart website as well as Amazon, I believe. So I will leave those links down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial and I will talk to you in the next one. This is the outro to the Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah.